carefully planned and synchronized attacks. An arsenal of weapons found deployed in Paris and hidden across France. Friday's bombings and shootings offered a glimpse into the Islamic State group's financial power. But where does the money come from? The group's assets are estimated at around $2 billion. A large part of its revenues comes from oil and gas. The Sunni extremists sell crude oil on the black market. Oil fields they seized in Iraq and Syria generate about $50 million every month. But some analysts say the group has been diversifying its income and is increasingly relying on other sources of financing, partly because of US-led airstrikes targeting refineries and other oil facilities. A key source of revenue, extortion. The militants impose heavy taxes on people living in their territory. Traffic fines, asset seizures and an array of fees all serve to replenish the group's coffers. Sales of Iraqi and Syrian antiquities smuggled onto the black market is another growing source of revenue. Kidnappings bring money too, although in recent months the group has been favouring a more lucrative business of human trafficking, asking large sums from people smugglers who help refugees out of Syria. Leaders of the group of 20 nations vowed cooperation in trying to cut off terrorist funding. But Russia's president claims the Islamic State group has many financial backers among the rich nations. According to our study, financing for the Islamic State group comes from some 40 countries, including G20 members. Donations from third parties remain small, however, accounting for only a few percentage of the militant group's income.